Hi everybody, welcome back to Critical Mass. Today we have some topics that are in the entertainment industry news that we thought we'd bring up. Wonder Woman being nominated for Oscars. We have Kevin Feige in the news with Marvel. We have new shows that are dropping. And uh, yeah, let's get into it right after this. All right, Paul, what would you like to talk about for so much stuff in the news? Okay. Apparently Warner Brothers, despite all the backlash against Wonder Woman 84, has put Wonder Woman 84 up for Best Picture Oscar contention kind yeah. of thing. You know why? Because there's no, no competition. That's what they think. Well, really? <laughs> That's what they're we thinking. Didn't, we didn't do a, a Best of 2020 video, but I can think of at least two films that I enjoyed immensely more than Wonder Woman. Uh, what would you say for that? Uh, second place, my list. I enjoyed The Hunt. Yep. I, uh, well, I, the I, Hunt. I enjoyed it, but <laughs> but it won't get nominated. No, it won't. It was it was too divisive, but it was a f yeah. fun movie. It was divisive for no reason. <laughs> it was a fun movie. With a capital F. <laughs> uh, and uh, I would say way better than Wonder Woman. Love and Monsters. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, that's a really good one. I would recommend that movie to anyone. Yeah, it was just so fun, and I did not expect it. I would, you know, what I would say? I would say I would put it against Tenet, and I know that Tenet was a confusing movie, but as far as as how good it was as a picture, I would I would put that ahead of Wonder Woman for sure. Heck, I even put Soul, that just came out with Disney, ahead of Wonder Woman. Yay. I would. <laughs> I would maybe, uh, I would put it in the same boat with Wonder Woman and maybe See, sink them both. It was, uh, it was good, but it, was okay. it wasn't all the way good. It was good. I enjoyed it. I think Wonder Woman, like, yeah, I don't think this would have made, uh, but what else did they have to nominate? Well, as a studio. The ones that, that, the ones this, that we just mentioned. This is their, no, as a, as a studio wow. though. So this was their tentpole. They've been holding off on this film for over a year. But they know the reaction to this movie. It's a joke. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because Oscars take in, if there's a limited amount of things, at least they can say Oscar nominated. You know what? <laughs> you know, uh, so. <laughs> some, some of the YouTubers out there talking about it are saying, this movie might win just because the Oscars have new rules about what can contend. Yeah. And it's check boxes. Yeah. Do you have this many women, this much diversity, this oh, much right? representation? Yeah, no. yeah. And Wonder Woman does it all. Well, almost all of it, but you know, it checks a lot of the boxes. Right. And something like The Hunt? No way, it's not gonna check any of the boxes. No, so it, it, it could win, but um, if any other year, any other year, this movie would not even come close not to on the being, radar. Yeah. being nominated. Yeah, because... you just, you just mentioned, mentioned The Gentleman. Yeah. That was yeah. way early in the year, uh, before the lockdowns and everything. And I enjoyed that. Oh movie. yeah, much superior acting movie. For sure, and McConaughey? even and yeah, uh, the story absolutely much better. Um, I can probably think of three or four Netflix films that I would say are more enjoyable than. How about Invisible Man? Yeah, yeah, that was decent. So, so many good movies out there that are much better than Wonder Woman and didn't receive the backlash that Wonder Woman received. It's yeah. kind of a joke that they put it out. Although there. Wonder Woman got the backlash because so many fans like Wonder Woman, and it's a superhero movie. No, it's not because it's a superhero movie. It's because so many people like Wonder Woman and they trashed it. Yeah. They put it in well, the dumpster, they set it on fire. In our opinion, they dropped the ball. Let's just put it that way. They dropped the ball on Wonder Woman too. All right, Wonder Woman up for nomination. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Should it win? Should it have even been nominated? Have you even seen it? Uh, what else do we got in the news? Uh, they're, like, I really like Daredevil. Mm -hmm. on, on like the Marvel verse on TV and uh, that has Charlie Cox as the main actor an awkward pause by Kevin Feige suggested that a Charlie Cox Daredevil might be in the future of the Marvel franchise mm -hmm. Marvel Universe kind of thing and you guys haven't even seen the TV show have you no I've seen a, few I've episodes. Seen a couple of episodes yeah. yeah but it's not something I watch regularly uh, Charlie Cox Daredevil is gonna be in apparently spider-man 3 along with Jessica Jones or something as cameos or yeah. but I was wondering when they're gonna bring in a TV series into the universe. 
of, of the movies. I just, I think everybody is burnt out right now. Like, burnt out from all the superhero stuff. And I, I, I don't know. I think you get a good one out there, people are going to flock to it. Everybody was anticipating Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that went over well. Well, it had the number one opening in the box office well, during the pandemic. Not? How could it not? Well, Tenant didn't. Well, there were less. There were more. There, there were less theaters open now than when Tenant opened, and so, and it's already past Tenant. Uh, but yeah, hmm. so we'll see. Which makes me question their numbers. I, I would, I would, I would like to see them in some of the some of the shows. I'd like to see a lot of the characters out there from the TV shows join the movies. Uh, I think originally Disney didn't want to involve them in the Marvel future because Netflix is their competitor. Now that they have uh, Disney Plus, they don't want Netflix to have any kind of prosperity whatsoever. And if you bring Charlie Cox Daredevil into Marvel, then Netflix gets a boost because, you know. Uh, next possibility, what's going on? Uh, what else we have? Uh, the Mandalorian is big right now. Gina Carano is one of the uh, strong female warrior types on the show. Uh, but she has uh, angered a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of the social justice types, and by by not putting pronouns in her in her thing and 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 kind of being more of a libertarian about uh, civil liberties and stuff like that, mm -hmm. rather than following the crowd with you know follow everything the government says and stuff like that. So people don't like her, and they want her fired. Yeah, but certain, these, certain people don't like her. The people that don't like her are not her fans anyway. Like, they're not fans of the show, they're not fans of the franchise, they're not... No, they're, you know? they're professional... Complainers. Complainers. Well, the In 70 million people that were just banned from Twitter, not them. Yeah. The guys that are <laughs> remaining. Right. And, and the problem is that it's gotten so far that people want to cancel her because now she wants to do her own stunts in The Mandalorian. Yeah. Yeah. You know the thing we praise Tom Cruise for doing? Oh, I love watching Tom Cruise movies because he does that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, but you know what? He's really crazy in the Scientology and that. Yeah, but you know what? He does that. That's why we watch him. So we, we give him a pass. He's one of the biggest stars in the world. And we're going to go on her because she's a tough person and is, and is actually a professional fighter and has won championships and is in shape and wants to do her own stunts. Yeah. Anyone who says, I want to cancel you because of... Oh, you, you're, you're a problem child because you want to do your own stunts. No, you know, the problem child is the person complaining about that because I am envious that she can do the stuff she does. Yep. yep. Now, apparently, Disney wanted to can her and Favreau is protecting her. Good. So he's the umbrella. Because can you imagine if Disney does end up firing Gina Carano, where is she going to get work? Well, she'll find it. She's been in Fast and Furious. She's yeah, been in other things. No, nobody in Hollywood is going to hire her now because she's a conservative. Right. Right? And this is the way. Hollywood has decided that, uh, I guess, conservatives are bad and we want nothing to do with them. Except there are exceptions to the rule now because we've had people like Tim Allen with his TV show, number one sitcom on TV. They had a new studio head come in and said, you know what? We don't really like comedies anymore. We're getting rid of his show. Everyone said, why are you getting rid of the number one show on your, your network? Well, well it, just because. We don't want comedies anymore. No, it's because of Tim, Tim Allen's actual political stances. And outside another, of the show. Outside of the show. And another network picked up. Right. As far as I'm concerned, what your personal things are, you keep them to yourself. You be your own person. Don't care. You're an actor, you act, and that's it. Yeah. I, I don't care about all the other social justice stuff out there. Uh, now, can, if cancel you, culture is so ridiculous. If you're a, a horrible person and have done something horribly wrong to other people, different story. Okay, well, maybe that segues into the next bit in the news. Boom. Well, this is from the Daily Mail, I think, and that's a British tabloid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sensationalist stories, but it's being reported all over YouTube. Army Hammer. Uh, he, you might know him as the star of The Man from U.N.C.L.E. Or The Lone Ranger. Okay. Uh, apparently, he sent these private, direct messages to a girl who is now revealing them anonymously. And it's Unver kind of Unverified, by the way, still. Unverified. Uh, and he has said a bunch of stuff, like really deviant bedroom material, and that he's, that insinuates that he wants to cannibalize parts of her, and 
just weird stuff. Just Pictures of him drinking a beer behind a steering wheel, licking some white crystals off his friend's hand, uh, and some would say that's artistic. <laughs> <laughs> they asked they asked his ex-wife, uh, like, "Is this the guy you know?" And she goes, "Well, I never knew, but I guess things have changed after we broke up, or something like that." But they're they're framing it in a way that, oh, it's it's probably pretty true. Okay, and now. Like, this is, again, tabloid Twitter stuff getting out there, possibly trying to cancel him, and it's all unverified and sensationalist. Yeah. To me, I mean, I honestly, can you think of any Hollywood star that you're not thinking about? They're at home in their mansion and they're not doing the same stuff? Like, that's how I think, <laughs> well, that's I, how I think of a lot of these Hollywood type are. Well, you know, I don't think the Olsen twins are feasting on their neighbors. <laughs> well, no, um, they're too skinny. They're talking cannibalizing, you know, I, but, <laughs> but let's just face it. If you're an actor or a star out there, or a uh, anybody in, any famous person at all, get off Twitter yeah. and never send anything on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> like stupid stuff on your phone. See them in person. And there's, there's not even a way to validate that these Are real. texts were from him. Because you can, there's apps out there that I can go on and I can type a text and make it look like it's coming from Paul and Mark and coming to me and I'm responding. And it is, it would be, they wouldn't even know I'm doing it. This is why, so. this is why people in the public eye have to keep their lives private. Completely shut out everybody. That's why they run from the media. Yeah. If, if, you're, if your income is fame, you got to protect that. Yep. Because as soon as somebody targets you, there's going to be their army behind them targeting you too and you're not going to get away from it. And with the, uh, with the onset of the internet and everything and everything is instant, that can happen very quickly. Yeah. And like I said, nothing's been verified. The guy is, even if he sent these, he's not done these things. <laughs> you know what I mean? You well, know, that we know of. It, it could be just weird talk uh, as far as like a, yeah. somebody's fetish. I, yeah. So far as I know, it's not illegal to talk while drunk. No. No. Because we'd have to get rid of half our politicians, half of our actors, <laughs> half of our sports entertainment guys. Um, <laughs> look how many guys have got caught when we went to Zoom. Remember when everybody went to Zoom? <laughs> and we have CNN reporters sitting at the table, you know, with no pants on and forgetting yeah, that yeah. the cameras are going. And <laughs> you know, as, far yeah. as, I, as far as I'm concerned, all of, all of the social media outlets like Twitter and, and stuff like that, as soon as a, a famous person is verified, there should be an automatic filter that goes on their account. And if they say anything stupid, it's filtered out. Yeah. Because they can censor everybody else. Just filter that stuff. Hire an agency, and don't let this get posted for a week after I write it. Right. And let me double. Yeah. Let me double check. Run it by the lawyers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's. Oh, uh, uh, there's there's a story out there. Well, maybe we'll talk about that another time. Well, that's it for the news right now. A lot of social justice warrior stuff going on. Daredevil possibility. I'm glad John Favreau's stepping in and saying, you know what? You know what? Uh, She's part of our team. Yeah. She's helped the show grow. Uh, we're going to stay with her. Unless she actually does something disgusting or vile or anything like that. Until she kills somebody. Uh, I think she stays. Right? Um, enough cancel culture out there. Uh, we probably lost one of the best people who could have hosted the Oscars because of jokes he made 12 years ago. Uh, remember um, with Kevin Hart. I mean, it's it's just gotten to the point where it's ridiculous now. And uh, well, all I can say is thanks for coming to our final episode, as we'll be canceled after this episode <laughs> airs. <laughs> so put put a movie from 2020 that you think was better than Wonder Woman in the comments. Uh, yep. Do you think cancel culture has gone too far? Do you care what somebody's personal life is like? on whether or not you go see them in the movies. Because yeah. personally, um, unless it's a, a really vile, disgusting thing, I think your personal life is your personal life. And your work is your work. Your work is your work is your work. Well, thanks for tuning in to Critical Mass. That's what's in the news. Check out some more of our other videos here on the side. Until next time, heck, we might just see you on the channel.